able to reach out here with Becky after the event. She can explain a bit about this event and what it meant for everyone here. Good crowd today. And what does this event do for the community here in Foster Ray? Well, this is our 18th annual Red Dress event. So um, 18 years ago, as a ProMedica nurse in our Department of ProMedica Wellness, we decided to um, pair up with the American Heart Association for the Go Red for Women movement and focus on women and heart health. And it's really an opportunity to educate women about heart health because women typically don't have the same symptoms that men have and oftentimes they kind of put off, you know, maybe they're feeling a little, un you know, maybe a little queasy or they have some discomfort that they just say, oh, I'm just tired or something. So they don't pay attention to it. And so we wanted to do this event to draw awareness to women and, and uh, you know, heart health. So. So again, 18 years ago, and we started up at St. Wendelin Church in their Parish Life Center, and it has grown and grown and grown. And we started coming out here to Stacy's Place, just, I think this is our, well, last year was a little different with COVID. We had a drive-through event, and it actually that. worked really, really well. Um, but we have our celebrity waiters, and I think you probably interviewed some of them. And, um, but we deliver you know, the meals to the ladies, and they, the women love it, and we try to get someone who people know in Foster Ray who've had a heart event. So today our guest speaker was Mimi Schaffner. And um, you know, you look at her and you think, oh, she doesn't look like someone who'd have a heart attack. But her story was pretty compelling if you if you it's, it's pretty crazy because she said she just felt a little bit of tightness. Yes. And didn't think it, it yeah. didn't think anything about it and you know and led all these medical yes. events after. Yeah, that. it is. And and the gal that we introduced, uh, Linda Mickelson, she was our speaker last year, although it wasn't an in person event because of COVID, but she shared her story with us and we had um, her story printed out so people could see. But she too, you know, a very healthy 60 year old woman who I shouldn't probably tell her her age, um, but who, you know, started having some chest discomfort and um, just again, didn't feel right, knew something was going on. And so she, you know, sought help and she ended up having a stent put and she didn't have to have bypass surgery like Mimi did. But, um, you know, it's just, again, trying to raise awareness and what brings people together but food. So, you know, we try to have a heart-healthy meal. Um, and uh, so, again, it's, it's just a great opportunity for people to, to get together and, and you know, again, educate on the importance Definitely. of heart health. And anybody that's watching this video, if you do have any kind of cardiac issues or tightness, chest, highly get recommended to go see a medical professional. Well, actually, if you ever have chest pain, um, you know, some people, I was a cardiac nurse for 18 years, so I worked in an ICU, and, you know, people think, oh, I can just drive myself to the hospital. I don't want to call the ambulance, but you do need to call 911 because in the time that it takes for them to get there, um, you know, you could have collapsed, and if you try to get in your car and drive here, nobody's going to even know, but if you call 911 and they can get here, they have all the bells and whistles to do all the things, medicines, transfer you to the hospital. Uh, so never, ever, ever think, I'll oh, just drive myself. And it always, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say it always, it's not always heart related. You know, the symptoms could be uh, indigestion, it could be gallbladder disease, but we always look at heart first because that's what you want to rule out and make sure that it's not a heart attack. But if it is and you chose not to go to the hospital, you know, you could be the one who might not make it. So um, again, part of this whole cause is to educate on the importance of uh, seeking help right away. Awesome, and one, really, something else to touch up on is the fact that you said call 911. Yes. The ability of 911 is very good. You call 911, you get help, police, mm -hmm. fire, EMS. Mm -hmm. In this case, EMS. And Foster Ray Fire and Seneca County EMS and Hanco EMS and the um, rural Wood County EMSs all have technology on board um, right in the back of that ambulance Absolutely. so they can be in your driveway and they can start sending information to the hospital so it's not you have to wait to the hospital it's as soon right. as the ambulance oh, gets there they have everything needed yes. to help check. get knowing if it's a cardiac issue or non-cardiac chest pain mm -hmm. and right. definitely going to the hospitals again to check absolutely. out absolutely we are very blessed to be in such a nice community that you know our like you said our fire department um, and if they can't get there first the police would get there so you know and they know what to do Correct. too and they're all CPR certified absolutely absolutely so we have a we're very blessed in our society here in Australia that we have such knowledgeable people and the equipment state-of-the-art equipment to take care of these situations you know at your home if, if need be
Awesome. Well, Becky, thanks for taking out your no. time today. Thank you. No thanks problem. for being here. No